So our study looked at pool data from two separate 12-week identical studies that were evaluating efficacy in patients with overactive bladder. We had standard eligibility requirements for patients with overactive bladder, and they had to have symptoms of overactive bladder for a minimum of three months. We had a total of 4,129 patients who were randomized, and 4,108 patients received treatment, the majority of whom were women, and they were randomized to three different arms in a two to two to one ratio which was tolteridine 4 milligrams, tolteridine extended release 4 milligrams, fesoteridine 8 milligrams, or placebo. Now, the results were a combination of voiding diaries and a variety of quality of life questionnaires, with the primary endpoint being change in urgency urinary incontinence at 12 weeks. Results were broken down by gender, we believe this is the first study to compare antimuscarinic efficacy in women and men in the same study. Now, when you look at our results in the female patients at 12 weeks, we saw a significantly greater improvement with 8 milligrams of fesoteridine compared to 4 milligrams of tolteridine extended release and placebo in patients in regards to ur urgency urinary incontinence episodes urinary frequency, urgency episodes, diary dry weight, and quality of life questionnaires, including patient perception of bladder condition, urgency perception scale, and OABQ. In the male patients, interesting, we did not see a difference in terms of UUI episodes between any of the treatment groups. However, we did see a greater improvement between both placebo and tolteridine 4 milligrams in the fesoteridine 8 milligram group for both severe urgency and the symptom bother domain of the OABQ. We also saw greater improvements compared to just placebo alone in regards to avoiding frequency, urgency, severe urgency, PPBC, and OABQ. In regards to adverse events, not surprisingly, the most frequent adverse events were dry mouth and constipation, but more so with fesoteridine, followed by tolderidine, and then followed by placebo. So, what did we learn from this trial? For the female patients in this study, these findings are consistent with several other studies that have shown fesoteridine 8 milligrams is superior to tolteridine extended release 4 milligrams. It is especially nice to see this for urgency or urinary incontinence and the dry rate which shows that this medication is clearly impacting one of the most, if not the most, bothersome symptom related to overactive bladder. In regards to the male patients, we did not see the same level of effect with these men in regards to urinary incontinence, though we did see greater improvements in regards to urgency, and I suspect this lack of improvement may be related to lack of power with smaller numbers of men enrolled in the study. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good afternoon. Bye.